What's happening, guys? We are in Culver City, California at Han Jip Korean Barbecue. Chef Chris O oh is gonna school us on what Korean barbecue is all about. Chris O! Oh, what's up? Oh, what up, Doug? How are you? Thank you for having us at Han Jip. Of course. What's our attack plan for today? Okay, so we're just gonna go through the whole Korean barbecue experience. Okay. There's multiple levels. It's like Inception, you know? You're just gonna like keep each stage me more. after stage after stage. So first things first, we're gonna grab what we call panchan. It's like free bread at Olive Garden. All right, man, let's do this. Bring the food, Garcon. That doesn't work. Garcon. 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 Obviously, it doesn't work here. It's small dishes, mm -hmm. right? And it's it mostly looks like room temperature to cold. Yeah. Am I right or wrong? Yeah, yeah. A lot of stuff is pickled. So okay. Lettuce for lettuce wraps. Pickled cucumbers. We got salad. We got pickled onions. We got uh, kimchi radish. We got regular kimchi. We have fish cakes. We have uh, squid. We have green miso. Nice. And then the piece de la resistance is yeah. the uh, nacho cheese. Get out! Yeah. Tell me that is yeah. that is that is a Chris O thing. The whole point with panchan is it's just supposed to like wet the appetite. You mm -hmm. know, like you know, get those little taste buds going. Yeah. This is the brisket. This is brisket. Yep. It's thinly sliced brisket. We got onion. We got a butter. Okay. Um, generally with Korean barbecue, you're gonna start with the brisket. Butter the. Uh, ooh, wow. Butter look at the, that. Ooh. Brilliant. Brisket down. And this has zero on it. No salt, no nothing. No, not a Straight meat, nada. Froze, like sliced super thin. Yep. Okay, yep, cool. Yep. So we're gonna throw the onion on there. And then what you do is take that butter and throw it right back on top. Oh, I like that, bro. And now we wait. I mean, how much color do you want on that? Well, no, so, so the great thing about Korean barbecue is cook it whatever you like. How do you eat it? I like a little crisp on it. I like, ah. I like the crispy. Just a little salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. That's it. Oh, okay, cool. All right. Oh, no. Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. It's so good. There you go. Super thin. Oh. Prime B. It's moist. Yep. It's crispy. Smoky. If you want to get real, what we do is you take a little lettuce wrap, rice wow. paper. Here, I'll give you a little rice paper. Thank you very much, there. Chef. I appreciate okay. it. Thank you. Then you take some meat. Okay. Right? And yep. then you just smear it in some of the fermented soybean. Oh, yeah. Right? There you go, that's that. Okay, like that. then what? Then you take a jalapeno. Ooh, jalapeno. spicy, I like that, yep. Mmm. It's got this kind of richness, almost sweetness to yep. it. It's perfect for me, man. So when you go to a Korean restaurant, it's it, the Korean word is tenjang. Tenjang. Or samjang. Samjang, okay. It's super like umami. It's incredible. It's got like a bunch of earth tones. Man. Uh, I mean, it's, I mean, it's the sh you know what I mean? So. The Chinese would call this like a guabao or some type of uh, uh, a sweet like a, bun. Yeah, it's like okay. a bun, okay. All right, so take some brisket. Okay, take some right. brisket. Dip it in your Oh, nacho no, cheese. no. <laughs> Thank you very onions. much. Dude. And you know what you got? What do you got? You got Asian Philly, bro. <laughs> That's true. Dude, all right. Oh, yo. This is like an Asian Philly cheesesteak sandwich, bro. Oh. Guy Fieri, if you're watching this, don't steal this, shit, okay? <laughs> Plain meats, round one. Round two. Yeah. Marinated meats. Round two marinated meats. I like that. All right. Perfect. Bulgogi. Yeah. Bulgogi. Bul 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 <laughs> Sesame oil, soy sauce. Sugar. Sugar. Garlic. Okay. All right, cool. Onions, man. you know, the work. How would I eat that? The same way? Same way. Same way. Okay, I, I bet choose your own adventure basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? That savoriness with a perfect balance of sweetness, the sesame oil. Uh huh. I mean, that is Korean barbecue. We got some bone marrow corn cheese. Oh my God. We got cheese, we got corn. Oh my we got God. mayo, we got bone marrow. We got some kimchi fried oh, rice. Oh yeah. If you want to make kimchi fried rice, it's super simple. Yeah. You need rice <laughs> and kimchi. You've enlightened me today. Thank you very much. We have learned a few things. Number one, panchan. Number two, unmarinated meats is the next thing you eat. Number three, marinated meats and all the side dishes. Yes. Soju. Soju is the number one selling alcohol in the entire world. But here's the thing. What? We haven't had any soju. I know. How do I walk out of Hanjib without drinking with you? Well, I got a little something for you. What oh. is this? This is... This is your drink. What do you call this? It's the watermelon soju. <laughs> what is this? Duh. <laughs> <laughs> Here, take right. a ball. There you go. Okay. Oh, no Korean whoa. tradition. Come on. Let's, all right, let's, let's do that. Let's all go. Up. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Thank you very much. Oh. Mm. Oh. Mm. Good. 
Mike, Nate, nice. get the hell out of here. This is getting too intimate. Best Go. balls ever. Dude, Woo! your balls are delicious. Jesus. Mike, get the hell out of here. I don't want anyone seeing this. Don't tell my wife. No, seriously, get out. Yo, get out. Nate, you're out get of here. Out. God, I love balls. So Christo definitely taught us how to eat Korean barbecue in the restaurant setting, but you know what? It's time to learn how to cook it at home. So let's make my version of Korean barbecue short ribs. Let's start with the marinade. This is an apple pear, and what I'm gonna do is I need to get this into the marinade, and my favorite way is actually grating it. So first thing I'm gonna do is cut it in half. Then I'm gonna peel it and core it so I can grate it into the pan. Just pop that core out. Let me give it a quick little peel. Just take your little box grater here, and I'm gonna grate the apple right into the baking dish to marinate the short ribs. Brown sugar, soy sauce, a little bit of sesame oil, and I'm gonna use garlic, and I have a little planer here, and the planer gets the garlic super, super fine. When I get the garlic this fine, it melts right into the marinade. So in terms of garnish, just a few scallions. Cut them in half lengthwise, and then put a bias slice on them and just cut them really thin. This is gonna marry along really well with some sesame seeds as our garnish today. Marinade's done, garnishes are done. It's time to swim the Korean barbecue short ribs. What are short ribs? Well, they kind of come from the brisket part, the lower part of the cow, which means a few things. They're actually a tougher cut of meat, but beyond that, they're super beefy. The flavor is phenomenal. If you're going to a butcher who doesn't already have short ribs cut like this, just tell them, I want short ribs flank and cut about a half inch thick. And all I'm gonna do now is just swim them right in the marinade. For about one to four hours. Uh, I wouldn't go any longer, but definitely don't go any shorter. So I'm gonna cover these, put these away, and let them marinate, and move on to the kimchi fried rice. Now, I know Chris O's version is pretty dope, but I think you're gonna like mine better. As usual, veg prep first. So garlic, just smashed into kind of, you know, small pieces. Onions, and this cut's called the Lyonnaise cut. All that means is the edge of the knife is always pointed toward the core. And next, I'm gonna garnish with a little bit of scallions. Right in half, and then a little bias slice. So this would not be kimchi fried rice without the kimchi, obviously. I'm using a prepared kimchi. I'm not gonna strain off those juices because I want them to play in the fried rice and add a lot of flavor. I'm gonna use tongs and kind of just hold the kimchi down and just do a nice thin slicing pass. I am ready to cook. So typical stir fry protocol here. I've got the pan heating up. I'm gonna get a little bit of neutral oil. I like grapeseed. Uh, it's definitely one of my favorite oils, but peanut, canola, soy, any of those are awesome. Little bit of oil first. Garlic is usually the first player. Let's go with onions. I wanna make sure my eggs hit the pan and my rice follows right behind it. The egg actually protects each grain of rice, coats it, and keeps it from sticking to the pan. Make sure you're kind of folding and using the back of the utensil to smash it around versus doing this. This is how Mike cooks. No bueno, all right? I'm gonna go kimchi now. And this is gonna add a lot of beautiful color to the pan. And seasonings are pretty straightforward. A little bit of soy sauce for salt and savoriness. A little bit of sugar to take the bite out of the acid and the salt and the heat and just a touch of white pepper. Now you're gonna really use the surface area of the pan to kind of heat up all those grains of rice and cook that beautiful egg. That's it. That is kimchi fried rice. I'm gonna bring it right down to the middle, not overwhelming the plate. And then I'm gonna top it with scallions. This is definitely a great dish to pair with your favorite Korean barbecue meats and a cold beer. So the ribs have been marinating, it's time to pull them out and get them cooking. The most important thing to remember is to dry off all the marinade. It's already done its job, it's penetrated to the meat, so you don't want this stuff dripping because all those drips are gonna hit the pan and basically create a smokehouse out of your kitchen. If you don't blot the extra marinade, I guarantee you're gonna set off every single smoke alarm in your house. 
Now, doneness is totally up to you. I like my beef medium rare. Don't rush in there and start flipping your meat. Just patiently take a little peek until you get the desired color you want. Now, remember, these are only about a half inch thick, so they're gonna cook really, really fast. Alternately, if you decide to go onto a grill, that's totally fine. Either propane or charcoal, just make sure the grill gets really hot. Give the grill grates a nice little rub with a little bit of oil, and you're in business. The next important step is, I know you're starving, I know it smells amazing, but yo, rest your meat before you serve it. Pull it off the plate and just let it hang out for about five or 10 minutes. All those juices in the meat are gonna relax a little bit, they're not gonna run, and that's how you get a nice juicy bite of short rib. Really simple garnish, just a little bit of scallion, some toasted sesame seeds, and I am in business. This is most definitely one of my favorite meals as a carnivore. So there you have it, friends, a complete Korean barbecue experience. From hanging out at the restaurant with Chris O oh himself to making kimchi fried rice and Korean short ribs at home, I hope I've showed you that it's a lot easier than you think. We'll see you next time on Authentically Asian.